be heard. We have one citizen to be heard, and uh, Mr. John Quarterman, if you would please come forward, state your name and address for the record, please. Hello, uh, John Quarterman. Uh, I live on Quarterman Road, and I get my mail in the city of Valdosta, 6565 Quarterman Road is the address. And I have two topics. One is, I assume you've all gotten a copy of our Lapaha River Water Trail brochure by now. If not, I have some for you right here. And you've probably noticed on this Lapaha River Water Trail brochure, there's a mention of a boat ramp uh, at Naylor. So I'm wondering, what's the status of that? That's the first question. And the other thing has to do with uh, it's great that you're doing all these items for emergency preparedness. We all appreciate the county watching after things. Uh, I didn't, however, hear anything about uh, emergencies that might emerge from that uh, Sable Trail pipeline that's still proposed to plow through here 100 foot right away with a 36 inch explosive pipe. Uh, Roger Marietta, I don't know if you've heard of him, he's a city council member in Albany. And he's uh, quite concerned because as a veteran, he's aware that in Iraq, pipelines like that are what he calls soft targets. I mean, do we really want a soft target here? Although, you know, maybe we don't even need him in the enemy action. You all know Southern Natural Gas Company, the owner of the pipeline that already runs through the county. I'm aware of it. I've got two of their lines on my property. Southern Natural Gas Company uh, today filed with FERC, Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, a complaint that they've been waiting since November for FERC to hold a meeting with them and Sable Trail about Southern Natural Gas says, Sable Trail wants to cross their pipeline far too many times. And they say that this exponentially increases the risk of corrosions which would then lead to leaks and explosions. Exponentially is the word they use. There's a lot more detail in the filing, and uh, it's online. Just go to FERC.gov, look for docket CP15-17, Charlie Paul 15-17. It's one of the most recent things in there. Uh, and, and as you know, Sable Trail has a 30-year record of corrosion, leaks, and explosions. Now, you may be wondering, what can you do about this? Well. Uh, tonight, Albany City Council is meeting to vote on a recommendation that they get together with the Doherty County Commission, their local state delegation, and their uh, federal elected officials such as Sanford Bishop to coordinate opposition to the pipeline. Sanford Bishop, who as you're probably aware is a congressman from District 2, which is most of the southwest Georgia has already filed a letter with FERC asking them explicitly, please deny the permit for this pipeline. It'd be great if our congressman here would do that and our senators. And the governor, Georgia Governor Deal, actually you may have heard about the other pipeline that was proposed by a different company through East Georgia across the coast. Georgia Governor Deal actually came out against that as did Lieutenant Governor Casey Cagle. And shortly after that, the Georgia Department of Transportation denied a permit. So Governor Deal and Casey Cagle could oppose this one as well, which would help. Department of Transportation in Georgia doesn't have the final say on this one because it's a natural gas pipeline, peculiarity of the law. But GDOT does have to provide permits for road crossings if it's going to happen for state roads. And the Georgia Environmental um, the Department of Environmental Protection has to provide an air quality permit for the compressor station in Albany if it's going to happen. And the archaeological department has to sign off on no archaeological sites. The compressor station site in Albany already had to move because arrowheads were found on it. And uh, the EDP also has to provide, if it's going to happen, permits for stream crossings. So uh, perhaps Doherty County and uh, <laughs> Thirty County and Albany is already doing this. Perhaps Lowndes County and the city of Valdosta could get together and make similar recommendations for other officials such as the governor, lieutenant governor, and the state and federal delegations to oppose this pipeline along with the state agencies. That would help. Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay. Being no other business, 